Hey guys and welcome to a new feature video of Ventus. Today I want to show you several improvements that we did in the last few versions to our animation editor. So most of these features affect the channel tree view and the logic view of our animation editor. With shift and click you may now multi-select several channels and move them or copy them via drag and drop. Besides moving a channel tree you can also clone a whole channel tree by right clicking a long time and then click on clone and you will see a new channel that you can move around like any other channel which is not bound to a node property yet so when you want to use it to a node you will have to bind it so as you can see the rotation won't change when we change the value here. The logic editor of our animation editor now has several features that will improve the handling of your state logic. You are now able to delete slices by clicking on a transition in the logic view and then press the key delete. So Ventus still tries to modify the slice so that it still works with the new logic and as you can see it simply deleted one animation of the transition that we just removed. Also, the states and the transition ends have additionally a context menu where you can edit the logic of them. By now you may not only delete a current slice, but also clone the whole slice to a new slice and then edit the new one. When you have a greater scene and you are unsure where your animation node is currently in your scene, you may click on this button here where you choose the animations in the current layer of your scene and you will be redirected to the node. The last feature that I want to show you is when you, for example, add some keyframes in between two states or a data marker and you want to move the whole animation as it is here because it is right in, in front of the start point of the animation and you find it more structured when you move it to the start point. You can simply do so by selecting all of the states and move them in front. So you don't have to select the keyframes anymore and the data marker will move automatically as well. So those are the new features that we added in the new versions of Ventus. We hope it will be useful for you in editing the animation nodes in greater scenes and in maintaining them. And I hope I will see you next time. So see you then, bye.